Hi everybody! I hope that you're all doing really well. Please excuse the lighting because the sun is setting so it might go in and out. And also excuse the noise in the background because for once my boyfriend is actually cleaning. I'm just gonna let him clean because this is a rare occasion. So last week I did a beauty joint um, order and I looked back at my history because that's what you can do on the site and it said the last order that I did was the 17th of January 2013 so it's pretty much been over a year since I have checked out the site and I thought that I'd have another look to see what I could buy and there was a few things I needed so I thought what? this is a good time to do an order so I got my package and I've already opened it because the people that were around me at the time when I got it, they're like, open it, open it, we want to see, we want to see. I was like, no, I want to do an opening unboxing video. And anyway, peer pressure got to me and I opened it. And I, of course, of course, who wouldn't want to open it? So anyway, I've got about nine items and I just wanted to share them with you. Everything that I mentioned in this video, I brought myself. I work full time and I work pretty hard when it comes to buying makeup. Um, so... Yeah, I just thought that I would just mention that just in case some of you guys out there thought maybe I was bragging a bit, which I'm totally not. So, yeah, let's just get into the video. I had to do this before the sun set because um, I finished work at 7 and this, this was literally the only time I could do it. So I literally have just got home from work and I just chucked on this lipstick so that I look a little bit more presentable. <laughs> So the first thing that I got from Beauty Joint was um, something that I actually had to repurchase because my other one went dry because I left the lid on by accident. Left the lid off. Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Cream Eyeliner and it just comes with a little um, brush as well. And this is in the colour Black Noir 886. And I love this liner. Like I've used the LA Girl one, oh, look, that's the one I've been using at the moment before I got this one. So I've been using that one and it, it's okay but I do prefer this one. I really want the MAC one but I'm still kind of contemplating on money wise, is it worth it? Or I could get like five of these for the amount of the MAC one. So yeah, I like this and it works for me now. I don't use the brush but... Um, because I've got um, my own brush that I use, but apart from that, it's a goodie. The next thing is just one of those, you know, those random things that you just throw in your order because it's cheap. Well, I really wanted to try this, and it's the ALF Nourishing Cuticle Pen, and I've noticed that my cuticles are really, really dry and ick, and I've been trying to care for my nails a little bit more, but it's, it's not one of my high... Um, priority things. So this is a nourishing cuticle pen and it just looks like this and it's actually got like a almost like a felt tip applicator and it says that it has avocado and almond oils in it so I really wanted to try it and so far I think it's kind of like oily based. I don't know if they use this at the minute like at, when you go to get a manicure. Doesn't smell but apparently it's got avocado and almond oils in it, so that's that. The next thing I got is another repurchase because I ran out. I was literally down to the very end of the eyebrow kit, and it's the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in medium. This was my one that I was using just previously, and I've literally used all of the gel and I started on the powder and I actually have to say the powder is pretty good so I think I'm going to continue to use the powder and just a little bit of the gel from my new one but I'll just show you the inside of the new one it does come with a little applicator, little brush but um, I don't use it, I've got my own once again and yeah that's the gel right there I really like this eyebrow kit because it's very affordable, very inexpensive and it does great, great job. So the next thing is something that a lot of YouTube gurus have been raving about so I had to try it and it's the Jordana Best Last Extreme Volumizing Mascara and it's just in 301 Black. Looks like this. 
and the wand just looks like that and I don't know maybe I should try it now I've got a little bit on from this morning but oh my gosh I just realized my lipstick is smudged It's very hard to see if it's actually quite good, even though I have mascara on, so I'd have to try this when I don't have any on, but so far so good. The next two items that I got were from the brand NYC, and I've never ever tried this brand before, and I really wanted like a deep red colour for autumn, um, so I got this lipstick, and it's in the colour Sheer Red, and it just looks like this, and swatch it. This looks like that. And yeah, I suppose it's it's just a normal darky red colour. I haven't tried it on, so it's gonna be interesting to see what um that looks like. This next colour I have tried on and I'm not too impressed because I'm not huge on the frosted frosted colours. I mean the lipstick I'm wearing at the moment is sort of semi-frosted, but this is really frosted. And this is in the colour blossom. And it just looks like that. And I'll just swatch it. Yeah, see, like you can you can kind of see it on the swatch, but like on your lips. I don't know. I'm, I think it's a self colour that I'll have to get used to, but at, at the moment I'm not like hard out digging it. When I look at stuff on the internet, it looks like really cool, and then I get it and I'm like, oh, that's not what I was expecting. It's kind of hard to determine. That sort of stuff. That's why I really like people doing hauls because then I can actually see the true colour of something. Moving on, I got another um, lips product and it's a matte lipstick and it's from the company called Jordana. And the reason why I decided to try out this is it's just been raved about hard out on the Makeup Obsessives page. If you haven't checked it out, I will link it down below. And it's this group page and we just all, all obsessed with makeup on there. So if you're obsessed like me, then you probably will fit in with us. Um, so everyone's been raving about the Jordana um, lipsticks. And this is my first one. Um, and the colour Eggplant. And I... <sighs> I wasn't too certain on the Jordana brand, like I've got a few Jordana stuff but probably like two items, actually no I've only got one item from them and it's an eye primer and that's it and I'd barely ever use it. Um, so it, this is another deep, almost like a deep plum colour and that's what it looks like there, it looks really nice but I've tried it on and it's very dark, I think I just kind of have to pat it on maybe. I don't know, we'll have to see, um, now that it's autumn I think these kind of colours are really nice and suit the season. <laughs> and then the lucky last two items I brought and that was nail polishes, I always buy like a random nail polish when I do like a beauty joint um, order because their polishes are so cheap. So the first one I got was the Sally Hansen Salon Nail Lacquer and it's in the colour Yogurt Style and it's just like a almost like one of those manicure colours, it's just a very nice light colour, it's kind of like the kind of colour that I would say can like makes you have like fresh nails, like you know clean fresh nails, that's, that's why I see that colour and yeah I think it's pretty nice colour so I can't wait to use that because I'm really digging clear nails at the moment, that's just me. And the next one is from a Milani and it's in the colour Just Peachy and it's just like this nice kind of corally colour and it just looks like that. So me and Hins have just been in Auckland the weekend just been so we decided to buy a few things and I thought that I would mention them here in the haul. Make sure you guys watch out for our vlog, we've got a vlog coming up and it will feature some of the stuff that Hins got. But today I'm just going to feature the stuff that I got. So we decided to stop in Hamilton at the base. Was it the hour? Base? I thought it was the base. I don't know. Anyway, we stopped at this big huge mall there. That's all I can say. And we went to Lush and it was really cool. I think we need a Lush here in New Plymouth because I would totally go there all the time. 
I got myself some lip scrub and this one here is in bubblegum and oh, geez, it's, it smells amazing this is what it looks like oh yummy um, and what you do is you just like get the product and you put it on your lips and you kind of scrub it out the dead skin cells is that what it is and then you just lick it off but I don't really like the thought of licking my own skin so this morning when I went for a shower I just put it on my lips and scrub and scrub and scrub and then when I got into the shower I just rinsed it off and I think that's probably a better way of doing it but everything that's in it is all natural like this has caster sugar organic jojoba or was it jojoba what is it how's it pronounced jojoba oil uh, Simonzia something in some colour 45410 and that's it so I think this is pretty awesome and then at the back of the product they actually mention when it was made who it was made by and then when you should use it by so this will only last a year which I think is pretty good because with me with lip products I seem to hang on to them for ages and ages and really they're not actually that good after a little while so I love this. So when we got to Auckland we decided to go to the Mac store and we decided to go to the Benefit counter and I loved it at Benefit. The ladies there were just so awesome and very helpful and I can't actually tell you what store it was. Hens would know but I don't. I just felt like anywhere in Auckland is just Auckland. <laughs> It's just a huge city, that's all I can say. Um, so we went to Benefit and I got the The Real um, Mascara. And I, oh my goodness, I freaking love this. I don't know why I took so long to get it. Um, but it looks just like this. And the wand just looks like this. And... You know when you do your mascara and you get clumps and it's really hard to get the clumps up? This doesn't even clump at all. And I always seem to stuff up my mascara. Every time I do it, I always have clumps. Totally worth it. This was $40. So that was that. But while I was there, I also got some free The Professional um, samples. And it's their Agent Zero Shine Powder. And... This actually is so cute. It comes with a little brush and then it comes with the product there. I think this is so cool. I really want to order me some of this so I might actually do that. But yeah, cool little samples. And then my lucky last item that I got and I was going to wear it like now. I was going to stick it on but it's... I just, I just feel like I can't even touch it yet even though I've like been waiting so long for this. About four months ago I was on the Makeup Obsessive page and I saw a chick talking about this particular lipstick. She had it on a photo and I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. It's just amazing. I really love the kind of colours that I'm wearing now. Like I really love this kind of colour. So I got a MAC lipstick from the MAC counter and it's in the colour Flat Out Fabulous and it's a matte lipstick and it just looks like this. And I'll do a swatch even though I don't want to because it's just so nice. So it just looks like that. And honestly, the formula is so good. It is very matte. Like, um, I think I we went to the matte store like in the morning and it was still on my lips by the time I got home in the evening, which would have been around four or five-ish. Just amazing, absolutely loved it. So yeah, that's my new buys. Um, I will link the Beauty Joint um, website down below for you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys need any advice at all on shopping online, please, please um, leave your questions down in the down bar. I've had a lot of experiences now with online shopping from good to bad. So um, yeah, if you're a first timer at online shopping, um, yeah, just give me a flick of a, of a question down below. Otherwise, you can actually go to our Facebook page and private message me there, or you can private message Hins as well, and uh, we will try and get back to you as soon as we can. Remember to check out our social networks as well, because we're on Instagram and we're on Facebook as well. And don't forget to subscribe. 
wherever it is. Is it there? Or is it over there? I can never tell. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in our next. Bye!